Hey y'all <coughs> And welcome back to the channel Mic check one two one two Mic check one two one two We are sashaying our behinds on into Messyville Straight out of Messyville today Yes, February 21st Alright, shy please Portia, Portia, Portia The people over at the house they have Chanel's for this world house. We wants to know, girl, are you the man? <clears throat> are you the man, girl? Are you the one that put on the pants, strap up with the dick, and try to go in on Simon Gabadia? Is he wearing a dress, girl, and you wearing the pants? Are you running things over there? Is what we want to know. Because I heard it through the grapevine, you bought two tickets to Anguilla for you and your man, your glorified boyfriend. Now, you saying that's a Valentine's gift. He give me your ass some cheap ass roses, some blowed up balloons. That does not come close to you providing a full paid, probably weekend trip. For Valentine's Day. Have you lost your ever loving mind? Portia we're going to put you on a special air bus today. Alright we're going <coughs> to truck around. And be messing with you on the special air bus. The short bus. Because evidently you ain't got it all baby. You ain't got it all. Now I'm thinking. Isn't the female. Is the one that's supposed to be wine and dine. And told how beautiful she is and everything is just thrown at your feet comfort money anything you want this man is just taking care of you but it seems like yes aunt bertha she doing just a little bit too much and i'll be damn if she did this shit for dennis or probably even cordell or anybody else but she is playing the man role. Yes, she's manning up. She dropping all types of money on this so-called million billionaire. Portia, have you lost your ever-loving mind, baby girl? Special Ed Portia? Girl, that's why we on the hot mess truck in the ghetto riding um, well, they made 24s, but they probably were 16s. <laughs> and it reminds me of that truck that was in Friday's video. I mean, uh, uh, TV, not TV show, not a movie with Ice Cube and uh, Chris Tucker. That little van, that uh, worm, big worm that's supposed to be in a pimp, but a dope push out there and was having um, uh, Chris Tucker sell drugs on. <laughs> We're going to ride in that bus. Who said that? I said that, Portia. I said that, girl. Because you over here taking this brother to Anguilla, which you call is the first trip you took. And I think Cordell accompanied, accompanied you on that particular trip. Because you said that was the first trip you went when you were on Season 5 for Real Housewives of Atlanta. And you always wanted to come back. Well, hell, why you didn't take yourself back there? Why you didn't take Dennis back there? Okay, girl, why you didn't take a girl's trip back there? Why you didn't take PJ there? Okay, love on yourself. Be about yourself before you could be about somebody else. But you took an all-expense-paid trip on your dime, and you sashayed your bitch, Simon Gabardia. Over there. And he's just whining. and He's just loving all of it. He's just loving you whining and dining him. He don't know what to say. He said, oh, this is, this is a trip I'm going to remember for a very, very long time. And of course, you bought the man suits. Okay. Suits. Business suits. He's supposed to have already had a closet full of business suits. But you bought him five days worth of business suit now you're taking them on an all paid vacation trip okay to anguilla when is this nonsense going to stop when is it gonna stop girl when is it gonna stop child please 
you have assumed the male role. That means you're going to be taking care of him. Well, you better take notes. Candy birds like to take care of her men, and they don't have no complaints. So I guess you better hook up with her and see how you have to get these jobs. See, Candy got jobs. She loves to work. She don't want no man taking care of her. And I'm pretty sure if she was married to a millionaire or a billionaire, which we know Todd is not. But just say if, okay? We're playing devil's, devil's advocate right about now. If she was married to a, a businessman that was worth a million or a billion dollars, Mrs. Candy Burst Tucker, I'm pretty sure she still would have her ends being calculated because she's just that type of chick. She don't want to have to depend on a man to take care of her. But see, you're the pimp over there. you pimping him out. And really, I guess you would be called the man in the relationship. If it's not a pimping situation, then you're taking care of this man fully, totally by yourself. I mean, the man didn't even put you on the house deed. You over there living with him. Is he making you pay utilities since he's paying the house? No, girl. Are you paying utilities? I want to know. Because it seems like he pimping you out. But yet, you want to wear all the pants telling him how to dress, how to set up for his... um. YouTube station or Instagram where he's posting and he's pretty much putting himself out there like he's doing business at home. Okay. And you're setting up his scene. I mean, what are you to him, girl? Because you're definitely not his wife. You're playing house. Okay. And you don't even know. He gave you a ring as a promise to marry you. But you're not married to this man. But yet you live in like you're married to this man. If this man decided he wanted to just leave your ass in a willow. Because he got another piece of ass he don't found. Okay. What could you say? What could you possibly say? Nothing. Because he owes you nothing. You, he has no ties to you. Which way or the other. You're not on his house deed. You probably ain't on his insurance. His burial if he died today. You're probably not even on that. That you can do, what, what do you call it, do a proper burial for him. Unless you're going to pay for it all. And if I was the wife uh, that was still married to him. Because, you know, I don't know if he's divorced from his first two wives. Because I think Fallon was his third wife. That would make you his fourth wife. So we don't know these other two women might already have, um, what do you call it, interest on his beneficiary. A benefactory. On his beneficial. Um, what do you call them? Uh, they're the benefactor, benefit. What do you call it? Benefactor of his will. I mean, have you taken a look at his will, girl? These are things you need to know. Why are you dropping all this hot mess money on him, whining and dining him, taking him trips here and there, buying him clothes? You feeding him too, boys? You let us know if you paying the utilities and feeding the brother as well, girl. Stop the madness. Do your mama know you dropping money on him like that? Do, I mean, because you should know how hard it was. Remember when you said Cordell kicked you out. You didn't have no place to go. And you went on back to your mama house. And then quiet as kept lies. I'm going to speak it out. Your mama was going through some hard times too. And she lost her house. For all y'all were ass out. And you wrote in your book. Y'all was being held up at a nice hotel. A semi nice until you got your first part, uh, paycheck from Bravo to get y'all back into the house I think you're in now where your mama's staying in. She's just holding it, keeping it warm for you. But I'm pretty sure ain't nothing changed. Ain't nothing changed. She ain't putting nothing in now because she, she, she can't put nothing in now. It's probably already in now from the beginning. That was just a far scene that you gave us with the moving truck. Okay, you could just left all that out. Went on and uh, moved in with Simon or whatever. Because it don't seem like you took anything. Okay, because we got a tour of your house a little bit. So we know what kind of furniture you were having when you went into that house. And when you were filming in that house. But we can't even get no shots in this new house y'all lived in. Okay, so what's, what's the true tea? And furniture was already there. So what did you and Simon do with y'all furniture? It makes you wonder, is it in storage, baby? Is it in storage? Or is this another fake scene that's going on? 
Because I know Bravo didn't split the bill for you to send uh, yourself and um, Simon over there to Aguila, the Caribbean, over there. Girl, what are you doing? Relax, relax, release it. What the hell are you going on another trip for? You just went New Year's to Miami. You just went to L.A. for the Super Bowl. Now, you in February, you went to Aguila? When is you taking time to spend time to be with your daughter? Okay? You mean to tell me you took a trip on Valentine's Day. Dennis, with his uh, happy Father's Day self, went and gave his daughter some uh, bouquet of flowers celebrating her. I'm hoping he scooped her up and he wind and dine her little two-year-old self so she'll know what it feels like to have a real man. Okay? Her dad is showing her what a real man's supposed to do. Make it do what it do. But old Humpty Dumpty over there, Papa Smurf, Grandpa, you took over to Anguilla. What did he give his daughters? What did he give them for Valentine's Day? Okay, he could have even broke out some stuff for the boys. He could have gave them something for uh, Valentine's Day too. Because men get serenaded as well. They don't get the big picture. Because we as women, we have babies for you all. We cook and clean. We work. Help you pay half of everything these days. So we need the, the big hurrah when it's Mother's Day, when it's Valentine's Day, when it's any other day. Hell, Mother's Day is an everyday thing for us. And we be showing up and showing out. Okay? But it's a hot mess. That's why we in this old ghetto looking truck. Okay? Because we're trucking along with Portia trying to see where are you coming and going in this situation, baby. We want to know. But that was just my spiel on it. Let's go into the Daily Dish on Bravo where we get a a scene or something. Somebody probably just wanted to write something up on you because they knew you had took this uh, trip or you had made them aware that you were taking this trip with your glorified boyfriend. We're going to forget the fiancé part because we don't even think you are going to get married. You know, this is how my house and my family is over here. We we don't we don't believe your shit. We we really don't the bullshit you giving us, day in and day out. We we don't believe it, Portia. We don't believe we don't believe that there's no relationship in their love. There's no love in that relationship with you and him. Y'all act like y'all best friends or something like that. And that's where y'all should be best friends. He need to go on his merry way. You need to go on your merry way. And help each other out whenever y'all can. But marriage, uh-uh. Having children, oh no. <laughs> oh no. Okay, because who's going to help you with them children? You already got your mama strapped trying to raise, or pretty much saying raising PJ for you. Then you want to drop off another child on her? Starting from ground up. And she's already good in her middle 60s part. Oh, hell no. Hell to the no, no, no. And she don't say it, I said for her. No. Okay? One is good. And you ain't doing too good with this one since you've been with this man. Okay? Call Simon G. Yuri G. But anyway. Michelle Ara wrote up an article on Miss Portia Williams and her comings and goings for Valentine's Day. That she has definitely put out there for display for us to take partake of and dissect it and talk about it as commentary. Okay? She titled her article, Portia Williams celebrated her first Valentine's Day with Simon in the sweetest way. Now, I want to understand something. Cause I, I, you know, I may get it, got it wrong, you know. But it seems like, if I'm, if I'm remember, uh, remembering correctly, in the book, I believe... Didn't Valen talk about that Valentine's Day was coming up and Simon had left her a couple of days for Valentine's Day and she had to spend it by herself? Is this the reason Portia is making such an elaborate thing about Valentine's Day and that her and Simon are spending Valentine's Day together? Is Portia trying to throw shade? Because in actuality, the shit may be thrown back up in her face when this man is gone or she's done figured out she can't do anything with this man this man is is holding her like a boulder tied around her waist and drowning her in the abyss to see he's just gonna bring her down 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 because for one 
any man that had some substance about himself, he would not let a woman spend that type of money on him. Or if she did, he would have it re uh, we call it reimbursed back in her bank account because I'm old fashioned and maybe that's just me. But a man is supposed to wine and dine his bride to be, his girlfriend, his lover, his best friend, wife. However you want to look at the situation, a man is supposed to do all of that and then some. Okay? Maybe I'm wrong in, you know, thinking that way. But that's how I was raised and that's how I see men. They are supposed to be the provider. They are supposed to be the protector. They are supposed to be who God made them to be, which is the head of woman. But it seems like Portia's going around here being the male in this relationship. At least as far as from I, my, what I can see. You know? She's doing no better than what she was doing in her book. When she was going around here uh, buying promise rings that probably were engagement rings on her boyfriend's credit card without his permission. And he got livid about that. As the story went on and she was telling us about it. And he should have been very livid about that. So livid that when she told me that we would have parked the truck that she said he had. Went right back in that store and exchanged that. Okay. That's what we would have did. But hey I'm not a man. It wasn't my transaction. It is what it is. But it seems like Portia goes too gone ho trying to uh, picture out and show the right optics of what she feels she wants. And the man is supposed to somehow come in with her vision and work with her on it and make it into fruition. When that's, that's not how it goes. I'm like, when was the whining and dining, Portia? You said on tom uh, tomorrow. To Tamron Hall show Y'all was still in the dating phase Y'all was still in the courting phase Well it seems like Baby girl You spend all your money And you don't have any jobs You're an entrepreneur Okay And I may be looking in your pockets And I don't need to be there Okay You can tell me to get on out But I won't I'm still going to come for you <laughs> I'm still going to be a woman And say girl you're doing too much let this man do what he needs to do to keep you interested in him. You're the prize. You're the catch of the day. Not his ass. Okay? Not his ass, Portia. But you must be trying to assume the role of the man. So I guess you need to go strap up that you could do your thing in the bedroom and pop him from the back. Because you're taking all kinds of directions that's supposed to be for the man to handle. You're trying to make sure he is good. When he's supposed to be making sure you're good. And your baby girl is good. And the rest of his kids are good. And the wives as well. But it seems to me he's not taking care of business. You're doing all the TCB as Aretha would say. Okay. Honey. But anyway. Going back to the article, it says Portia Williams went all out for her first Valentine's Day with, they say fiance, I say boyfriend, Simon G, the Real Housewives of Atlanta alum, uh, fed it the a romantic holiday by surprising her husband-to-be, glorified boyfriend to me, with an epic vacation in the Car Caribbean. On September 20, I'm sorry, on February 20th, Portia took to Instagram to share a glimpse into her tropical getaway with Simon in a series of sweet photos and videos. The couple can be seen posing in front of a welcome to a gorilla sign and sharing a kiss while arriving at their luxurious resort hotel. My dearest fiance, for me, glorified boyfriend. Uh, loves his surprise. I'm so glad my trip for him is his first time visiting Anguilla. Plus, it's our first Valentine's vacay, which makes it all more special. Portia wrote in the caption of the post. She also went on to explain the destination in meaningful 
is meaningful for her writing yes anguilla was my first trip on real housewives of atlanta it was so beautiful i was always wanted to revisit when i wasn't working and filming okay if you go to her instagram account you can definitely see her and simon uh at some boarded up looking like a resort hotel i don't know what they was doing it's quite an ugly picture it doesn't show no fun in the sun and you know whatever and then she showed i, I don't know what portia got going on okay but if you really want to see yourself the optics of uh the welcome to aguila sign uh go to portia's uh instagram account portia for real and i'm sure you can watch the videos or whatever you want to watch on her channel okay she goes on to say in the article simon couldn't help but remark on the post i will remember this trip and our various experiences together for the rest of my life he wrote in the comments also adding babe thank you so much this was priceless i said yeah because it didn't cost your ass nothing all right and it should have been a drop in the bucket for you to have done that to portia better yet be a bigger man and reimburse her her funds back that would be cute simon that would be cute eeyore all right going back to the author uh, uh, excuse me article it said earlier this month the couple commemorated valentine's day by sharing heartfelt tributes to each other on instagram happy valentine's day to my rider my love my best friend not sure if you will ever truly know what you mean to me but i'll do my best to show you every year we are blessed in this life she captioned a series of photos featuring the couple i'm like bullshit portia bullshit anyway going back to the article it says simon also penned a heartfelt message to his future wife happy valentine's day to my best friend my confidant and my twin the caption read in part i'm a very lucky bastard figuratively and a blessed man to be in a position to say your love and is infectious energy and laughter brings me great joy and peace daily you bring peace and love to everyone around you you desire to keep reinventing yourself is both exemplary and as well as inspirational now why would this man call himself a bastard i have no idea but since you're calling yourself a bastard i'll call you one too simon you're a bastard <laughs> bastard 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 okay you are no good brother and the biggest bastard i know okay but that's how he said it. I'm just repeating it. He called his own self a bastard. So I just joined in, you know, pretty much. Okay. But yeah. So y'all get down in them comments and y'all let me know what y'all thought about Portia just spending all her life savings on this man. And I don't know if she's doing it because he's so called about her Rolls Royce, which we know could be plausibly, it could be a lease situation. Because most millionaires, they don't buy shit. They just lease it. And when they want a newer model or whatever, they trade it in and get a new model. And they keep rolling. And it just is what it is. But, um, yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Because I'm like, if Portia didn't wind and dine her other men, what makes them so special? Because they are boyfriends. Because they're not married. And if anything happened or went down, they will be, they will be still seen by law. Not married. Okay? So it just is what it is. And for him to love her so much, to admire her so much, to think she's such an exemplary person, why don't you marry her, Simon? What's the what's the gag? What's the tea? Why can't y'all be husband and wife today, tomorrow, next week? I'm just saying, if the love is in the air, you all are just one now. Why not truly become one? Put it on paper. Get married now. Okay. Get now. Not later, but now. Okay. I dare you to get married now. But I'm sure he wouldn't take me up on it. Okay. But it just is what it is. So y'all get down in those comments. Let's continue the conversation. Y'all. You know, type down. Don't fight with each other now, okay? Because it is what it is when it comes to Portia. Portia made this bed. She's going to have to lie in it. She's going to have to rebrand herself, even if that's possible, which I don't think so. She would have to rebrand herself without Papa Smurf, okay? 
because all this mess is really gathering and festering around him because he's no good you remember he called himself a bastard i be damn if i call myself that but he called himself that okay so we're gonna go with that i tell you dumb and dumber you can't expect nothing to come out of positive when you got dumb and you got dumber all right me and portia and her boyfriend okay but that's all I got for this video. Y'all get down and tell me what y'all really think about this, this situation. Portia going to spend her money. Ain't got no jobs out there. Okay. There's six figures that she can, you know, keep putting revenue in. But she thinks she's going to be taken care of by this loser over here that won't even marry her. And then she said that the, um, the family had put a date out on them for this year. Well, when is that date? What is that date? Where is that date, girl? Girl, that's, that's what we want to know over here at the house. When, where, how, and what. Okay? Damn. Give us some, some tea, Portia. Who said that? You said that, Portia. You said the family told you your family had set up their made y'all a date. Well, when is it, baby? Spill it. Spill it. We want to know. Okay? Some of us probably want to celebrate it. Some of us, just like me, want to be curious and see if it's going to truly happen. But, you know, you're not giving us anything. But this bullshit that you putting all your money on this man. And we were still trying to figure out why. You were already stealing from Peter to pay Paul. You were trying to get in a house quick enough that you wrote in your own book. That you needed because you didn't want Bravo to find out. You didn't have no place to live. To answer the fact. So, evidently, you're living from paycheck to paycheck. Like most of us. Okay? So, I don't know, Portia, you tell me, are you balling with a baller? Or are you balling with a straight ball? Okay? A rubber ball. But I'll see y'all next video. Bye-bye.